who this is wrong is? So-called black man, Hispanic man, and Native American man. We make it the children of Israel. Not the so-called Jews. Are the so-called Jews that own the Israel today? Those are the fake Jews. We are the real Jews. The so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American. And guess what? Kanye West is getting black on and, and, and stuff like a rebel because he says that we are the true Jews that talk about Israel. He's not wrong. He's right. Then they want to make him move all his money out of his place. They move to another financial institution. If it wasn't true, then why would they make him do that? It's only making him do it because he's speaking facts. And that's what they're afraid of. They're afraid to know, they're afraid for the children of Israel to wake up who they truly are. They're afraid to talk about black men, Hispanic men, and the American men to get back our rightful ownership of this earth. That's what they're afraid of. Hello, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. The curses are meant to show us that we are the true children of God. That's what the point of the curses are. To show us that the one true God is our God only. Of the so-called black man, Hispanic man, and Native American man, right? We have the one true God. Um, our names come are derived from who? Our slave masters. Read that, Isaiah 65, 15. The book of Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 15. Uh -huh. And ye shall leave your name. And we shall do what? Leave your name. We shall leave our name. What is our name? What is our true God-given name? We don't know. But what does the Bible say? The Bible says we're from the tribe of Judah. They were from the tribe of Issachar, from the tribe of Naphtali, from the tribe of Gad, from the tribe of Reuben. Those are our God-given names. Right. But the Bible said what? And ye shall leave your names for a curse. For a what? For a curse. Because we've been cursed as a so-called black, Native American, Hispanic. Why? Because we have gone away from God's laws. We have been disobedient to what the Bible says. That's our problem. That's why we wake up to drink. That's why our people are on drugs, that's why we join gangs, that's why we rape women, that's why we sleep around our wives, we sleep around our husbands. Why? Because we have gone away from the laws of God. That's why we no longer have our true God-given names. That's why we refer to as black, Negro, African American, uh, Hispanic, Latino. That's not what God named us. And we sit around walk around here as if we're not royal, we're not, royal. We're not godly. That's our problem. We have gone against what the Bible says. Give me Isaiah 1 and 3. Read that. The book of Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. Uh -huh. The ox knows his owner. See, an ox knows who his owner is. Think about it. An ox is an animal. It is not a very smart one at that. But an ox knows who his owner is. Read. And the ass his master's crib. And in donkey, which is an ass, he knows his master's crib. You could take a donkey five miles from here, three miles from here, and leave it, it will find its way back home. Right? Read. But Israel... But who? But Israel. But Israel. Who is Israel again? The so-called black man, Hispanic man, and Native American man. We make it the children of Israel. Not the so-called Jew, or the so-called Jew that's over in Israel today. Those are the fake Jews. We are the real Jews. The so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American. Read. But Israel... And guess what? Kanye West is getting... Uh, uh, gonna get blackballed and 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 stuff taken away from him because he said that we are the true Jews that talk about Israel. He's not wrong. He's right. Now they want to make him move all his money out of Chase, out of Chase Bank and move it to another financial institution. If it wasn't true, then why would they make him do that? It's only making him do it because he's speaking facts, and that's what they're afraid of. They're afraid to know. They're afraid for the children of Israel to wake up who they truly are. They're afraid of the so-called black man, Hispanic man, and Native American man, Travis, to get back our rightful ownership of this earth. That's what they're afraid of, Read, But Israel, but does Israel does not know. We do not know. We don't know who we are. That's when I asked you, what is our God-given name? You couldn't give me an answer. Because we don't know. It's not your fault you don't know. Actually, it's our fault as a nation because we did what? Read verse 4. 
a sinful nation. Because we're a sinful nation. You know what sin is according to the Bible, chapters? What is it? Doing something outside of the Bible. Doing, watch this. I'm going to get it for you. Because what we're not going to do, we're not going to get on this podium or in this pulpit, come in and, and, and teach you something without giving you the biblical references of what it is that the Bible is saying. We're not going to give you two scriptures and teach you or give you a two hour sermon. That's what we're not going to do. We're going to do everything thus say with the Bible. Read out. that. The book of 1 John, chapter 3, and verse 4. Uh -huh. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. So if you commit sin, you are breaking. The word transgressive means to break. You are breaking God's law. So when you say yes, the only thing that goes against the Bible is absolutely correct. Those things are the laws of God. If we don't know the laws of God, how do we know what we're breaking? You get what I'm saying? You got to know. Don't we know the laws of the land? If you don't have a license, what's going to happen? You know, if, you, if you get... If, get a ticket, right? If you go in that store and, and grab something and walk out, what's going to happen? If you walk across that street and the light's still red, what's going to happen? You get hit by a car, you get a ticket, right? But what do we know? If you don't wear a seatbelt, what happens? These are the laws of the land, right? If you break them, there is a consequence for them, right? So us having God's laws, us breaking them, there's a what? There's a consequence. And our consequence has been slavery and captivity. Our consequence has been uh, the, the bottom of the lowest and lowest of the bottom of society. Our consequence has us getting killed in the streets. Our consequence has us filling the prison system. Our consequences have us baby daddies and baby mamas. Those are our consequences for breaking God's laws. Read that again. The book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Uh -huh. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. Uh -huh. For sin is the transgression of the law. For the sin is the breaking of God's law. Go back to Isaiah 1 and 4. We have to under we can no longer be living docile. We can't be walking around here aimlessly, not realizing that what we're doing is killing ourselves. Get what I'm saying? We gotta change our mindset. Read. The book of Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner, uh -huh. and the ass in the ass his master's crib. Uh -huh. But Israel does not know. Uh -huh. My people does not consider. We don't consider who we truly are. We hear all these all these famous people say that we're the children of Israel, but we don't consider it like is it to be a true thing. We like to give them the benefit of the doubt. Think about it. This is a nation who robbed, raped, and murdered us. Why would they give us information about who we truly are. You gotta think about that. Of course, of course they would give us an image that is not ours but theirs. Of course they would teach us a doctrine that's not ours but theirs. Why? So as long as we're being dumb, meaning what? Being dumb, uh, uh, dumbed down according to the knowledge of the Bible, they can continue to lead us. They can continue to rule us. Right? Read. Ah, simple nation. Huh? A people laden with Iniquity. Uh -huh. People laden with sin. I'm going to give you this so you can go. You start 5 and 7. The book, of, the book of Ecclesiasticus, 5 and verse 7. Make no tarry to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. So it says, make no tarry. Do not procrastinate from turning and repenting and keeping God's laws. That's what he's saying. You keep going to repent because you said you got to go. Right, read. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come in forth. What's suddenly the, the, the wrath of the Lord coming forth? is meaning the second coming of Christ. Christ is turning in this day, read. And in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. And in our comfort, what is most comfortable, when we ain't thinking about keeping the laws of God, when we doing what we feel we want to do, when we do what we want to do, what's going to happen? Destruction's going to come. That's what he's saying. Don't procrastinate. Don't put off on day to day. Satan does not want this information spread. That's what right. Say is, it's hate speech. How oh, they hate that I'm telling you we should change our lives. You know what I'm saying? They always want to try to change the narrative to fit what it is that they want. Right? You get what I'm saying? So, go. Don't procrastinate. Don't carry from day to day. Read that flyer. Do your research over information on that flyer. Yep. All right, Travis. Hey, take heed, bro. Take that flyer and uh, make sure you look over and read over it, man. Again, this, this 
stuff that you're actually coming up and doing right in front of us, we can go to the Bible and show you that that's the reason. This, that's why we, how we know we're God's chosen people because of our moment right now, which is in a cursed state. Hello, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. As you said, where's our culture? Where's our language? Where's our land? Where's our land? Who is our God? These are the things that we ask when we look around. All the other nations have an origin. They have a God. They, they have all of this stuff. But us, all we do is take the customs of wherever we live. And then we try to say it's ours. Read that. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. Now, I'm reading this to show you that, again, the Bible's going to talk about the children of Israel, the state that they're in, right? Read. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. Again, our, the Lord, our God, Christ, we have a lineage. We have a culture. Read Sirach 17, 11. Read that. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 17, verse 11. Besides this, he gave them knowledge. He gave them what? Knowledge. Now, again, knowledge... What is the knowledge? If I ask you, what knowledge should we be gaining from the Bible? Huh? It, the knowledge would be what our God has instructed us to do. Read. Besides this, he gave them knowledge uh -huh. and the law of life for inheritance. For a what? For inheritance. So the laws that were given to the Israelites, that's our heritage. That's our culture. That's how we show our God. We love him. Give him love. Oh, read on, read on. Verse 12. He made an everlasting covenant with them and showed them his judgments. Now, you, you understand what that's saying? Read it again from the top. Travis, listen well, okay? Read it again yeah, from the left. Besides this, he gave them knowledge and he gave them the life of inheritance. He gave them what? And the law of life or inheritance. Again, so he gave them knowledge and he gave them a law for life and that's their heritage. Read on. He made an everlasting covenant with them uh -huh. and showed them his judgment. Now again, so we knew what was going to happen to us. If I was to ask you, Travis, do you love God? What would you say? You would say yeah, right? I just wanted to understand. He's saying he loved God. So let me, let's show him what he must do. Read. For this is the love of God, uh -huh. that we keep his commandments. Uh -huh. And his commandments are not grievous. Give me John 14, 15. Read that. This is the book of John, ch chapter 14, verse 15. Uh -huh. If you love me, keep my commandments. That's John telling you. If you love God, keep his commandments. Okay, so let, now, let me see if your spirit your spirit really bears witness. I'm going to give you a law, and let's see what, let's see what happens. Give me that. You, oh, yeah, there you are. First Corinthians, read. This is the book of First Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 3. Uh -huh. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Okay, so Travis, the head of every man is who? It's Christ, right? So the head of every man is Christ, read. And the head of woman is the man. And who's the head of woman? The man, right? So who's the head of Christ? Oh, no, who's the head of man? Christ. And who's the head of woman? Read. And the head of Christ is God. So who's the head of Christ? God, right? So you got who's on top? Who's below? Who's below that? And then and children, right? Okay, so let's read on. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, this out of his head. Okay, so Travis. Right now, this is the book of prophecy right here. We're bringing out prophecies that are being fulfilled by you being here right now. So read it again. Every man bringing a prophesy, uh -huh. having his head covered, uh -huh. this honor of his head. So, Travis, having your head covered right now, who would you be dishonoring? Christ. Christ. So, what should you do now that you've learned this out of the Bible? What should you do? 
I wear a hat. <laughs> yeah, they, you know, I like hats. Yeah, that's it, you know, I get them. So what should you do, Travis? This. Exactly, Travis. <laughs> Take it off. That boy is good. Be my time in church. Simple things like that. Was that wasn't hard, was it? Hey. Yeah. All of the evil, the, 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 the deception, all of the, 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 the curses, the things that happened to the nation of Israel, right? Going into bondage, uh, being killed, being hung, being ruled over by a whole complete another nation for years where we've lost who we really are. Why is that important? Because when we go into the Bible, we read that the return is near. And we want redemption for everything that was done to us. That's right. Okay, so in order to do that, we have to keep our God's law. That's Understand right. me. Yeah. We've been confused. We've been manipulated. We've been coerced. We've been put in traps. We've been stepped on, oppressed. We can't get justice. We can't work together. All of that is a curse for God's chosen people. He's telling you that's the sign on how you can tell who my chosen people are. Because they fit those curses. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.